while we take from my women while we rape our women. I never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the line. Ain't nobody's hero, but I want to be heard. On your hot 97 every day, that's my word. The first time I fell in love with hip hop I, is probably around 1997, 1998. I was born in 90, and my older brother, he was a big fan of Big and Pac. So I already had knew who they were. But around like when I turned seven, eight years old, he was also a fan of Hove, and that's when Hove was killing him with like big pimping and right before uh, the Dynasty came out. So right around that time, that's when I really like became a hip hop fan, listening to Hove, to Fat Joe, Big Pun, who were New Yorkers, to then Ja Rule, who had the game on Smash in those early 2000s. But then when 50 came out, when G Unit hit, that I was 13. That was it. Like, I was a G-Unit member when that happened. The first artist I remember, like, really looking up to, like, this person's the man is probably Jay-Z, for sure. Jay-Z in the late 90s, he was just the man. Like, from Big Pimpin' to, like, every song that he came out was just so dope. And back then, you know, spitting was spitting, so, and he was one of the best spitters, so probably Jay-Z and, and Nas, because Nas also was one of the guys. But Nas was, like, legit, like, just nice. And then G, but he was also like, he kept to himself a lot. So he wasn't out there as much as like Hove was in the video with like women dancing on a boat. And I'm like, this is the guy. I never met Hove. You can't just meet Jay-Z. That's like meeting Obama. You don't just meet them. A lot of hip hop gods and Hove is one of them for sure. I probably didn't attend a hip hop concert till I was older. And then it was like Summer Jam um, when I was like in my teens, like in high school. So I was already like 16, 17. That was probably the, the first uh, concert um, I went to. I think Nikki had on that one. That was like one where it was a Nikki thing. Um, but she was, you know, Southside Nikki. Again, in hip hop, especially if you're from New York, somebody from your neighborhood, they just become the, the person, your person, you know, especially if they could spit like the Queens um, guys could. So. My name is Ian Lara, and I want to wish a big happy birthday to my love, hip-hop. <laughs>